Okay, here's the transformer that we sell on FixMyOwnAC.com. This one is very universal. It's one of the higher VAs. You can always step up, but you can't go down. Now, if you look at our secondary wires, this blue and yellow, you look on here, it says uh, secondary, 24 volts, blue and yellow. See that? Secondary, 24 volts, blue and yellow. So these will be the secondary, which is 24 volts. Here you have primary. These are the wires on this side. These are your primary wires. And you're always going to have a common. That's white. Use a pen here. Common is white. And then we have three other voltages that we can use. We can use this for a 120, a 208, or a 240. A 240 is going to be used for a heat pump. A 120 is going to be used for a gas furnace. Now, your your 120 volt is going to be white. You always use the white. That's your common. 120 is going to be black. 240 is going to be orange or G. So if we wanted this to run off of 240 volts, we would use the white and the orange. If we want it to run off of 120, we'd use the white and black. You always use the white. The white is common. Your black is for 120. Your orange is for 240. So if you look, all these wires are, are cut and trimmed. So there's no reason to unplug our old one from the circuit board. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take our wire cutters and we're going to cut those wires. Now we know these are for 24 volts and these are for, for your uh, 120. So it's going to be very simple to uh, cut and strip those wires and put this all back together. So we'll cut those wires. Get the old burnout transformer out of the way. And oh, we'll strip these wires real quick. Strip them back all oh, about a half inch. Kind of like that. We got two left. This is for your I mean uh I've been doing this for a long time. I have a natural habit, it's a second nature habit to uh before I touch any wires just to double check and make sure my power is off. Probably a good habit to get into. You don't want to be stripping these wires and then find out you forgot to turn your power off. Uh, could be kind of a shocking experience. So let's, uh, we're going to take a minute and we're going to mount this back up in there and I'll show you real quick how to wire it. Okay, now our old transformer was a little bit smaller physically than our new one. So we decided to mount our new transformer up here on, on a panel. As long as your door panel can, can close properly, it's not going to be vibrating. You don't want this resting against anything. A transformer actually stays running the whole time the unit has power. And it just sits, it just sits, it doesn't uh, use too much electricity. And it just sits and hums and just waits for you to turn the thermostat on. So, okay, we got our low voltage. We're going to get some wire nuts. We're going to need four wire nuts. One, two, three, four. We always use baby oranges. They seem to be pretty universal. You can use them for uh, fan motors and you can also use this size for uh, low voltage. So they're very universal. Okay, like we were talking, you got the white common and you got the black. That's your, that's your line voltage. Okay, for 120 volts. Now, we're just gonna put those together. Let me show you how to put on a wire nut. And it sounds silly. Well, I don't need a lesson on a wire nut. But trust me, I've been doing this for a long time and if you do it right, It'll never come off. So you got your you got your wire, and you take this wire and you put them two together, and you get the ends lined up. It's very critical. If one's up like this, it won't it won't make a good connection. So get those two wires together like that. Don't twist the wires. Leave them like that. Take your wire nut, put it there. Don't let one of the wires slide up or down inside while you're holding it with your fingers. Now, this is very simple. We got uh, 20, this is our 24 volt circuit. This comes up, goes into the circuit board. Lucky for us, we have a blue wire, so that's a no-brainer. These are 24 volts, and then we have another 24 volt wire. These, these are more or less interchangeable. You got 24, 24 volts coming out of these wires. It doesn't matter which one is common, which one is neutral. 
as long as you hook them to the 24 volt circuit. See, I'm holding them wires two together. I don't care how far down they're stripped. As long as they're together on the on the end, I'll put a wire nut on there. Don't let them slide. Don't let the wire slide inside your fingers. There you go, we're ready to go. Now we've got two wires left over. Okay, these wires actually will have voltage coming out of the transformer through these wires. So if they touch any metal metal like this, you'll you'll trip a break or blow a fuse, something like that. So what we have to do is we're gonna secure these uh, with a little bit of black tape. We're gonna make sure that they don't touch each other. We're gonna make sure that they're not gonna touch any metal. So I'm gonna put a little black tape. I'm gonna put a zip tie on there so they don't go anywhere. One thing I wanted to show you about the transformers we sell on FixMyOwnAC.com is that we always sell them with a little circuit breaker. If, there, if there's a short in the system, this will pop out, and all you, have to do to re, all you have to do to reset it is just to push that back in. Boom, it resets, because if a transformer goes out, you either short it out your, your thermostat, your contactor relay outside, your uh, reversing valve, something shorted out the transformer. They don't usually go bad on their own. I've seen them out there for, you know, 35, 40 years old. So, we sell it with a little circuit breaker. Otherwise, you'd have to change the transformer every time you were trying to locate the short. And like I said earlier, trust me, I learned that from experience. So, this is the most universal and the best transformer that you can buy. Okay, that's uh, the lesson on how to change a transformer. And once again, I want to uh, thank you for visiting my website, fixmyownac.com. And uh, we have a full variety of air conditioning parts, whether it's a fan motor, fan blade, capacitor, contactor, transformer, whatever you might need to uh, fix your own AC. And uh, thank you for watching my video.